today, we shall say to the world, this is my husband, and this is my wife. I'm Jordan, and I'm Christina, and this is our story. In seventh grade, I started going to Calvary Chapel Christian School, and that's where I met Jordan. I had my group of friends, and Christina had her group of friends, and didn't really talk too much in junior high. Um, all I remember really about Christina in junior high is that Nick and Dylan pointed her out to me, and I just thought, oh, you know, she's really pretty, but, you know, I don't really have a chance. There's no point in me going up to her and talking to her or anything. I remember talking to him on Instant Messenger on AOL a couple times and I remember that his screen name was something funny about aliens or Star Wars or something like that. I remember she had the name like Twinkle Toes and I had the name Invader Lord something, I don't remember. And I remember sitting behind him in English class, but that's about it until the ninth grade when he asked me uh, to the winter formal. And I remember Dylan suggested the uh, idea to all my friends about us asking a girl to this, uh, this banquet. So I remember me and Dylan um, that night, we're at my house and on my bed and we got the phones and everything. And I remember um, me and Dylan just sitting there all nervous, our hands are sweating and everything. And, and I remember dialing her number and um, I almost hung up the phone after I dialed the number because I just, I just got too scared to stay on the phone, but her mom answered the phone and uh, I asked her, you know, if Christina's there, I'd like to, um, you know, talk to her and stuff. But I wasn't home, I was at a friend's house practicing for a cheerleading tryout. Her mom said that Christina was gone at the moment and that she would call me back. And when my mom picked me up, she told me that a boy had called for me. And I remember being so nervous and scared to call him back, um, but I did. and. He asked me to the formal and I said yes, of course, and um, then he wanted to go on a date or two before the formal to get to know each other, he said. I remember my mom telling me that it would be a good idea if me and Christina just went on a date or something before um, the banquet to get to know each other. So uh, we arranged to go to the movies with Dylan and we went with Laura Ashley. The whole time. I was just thinking about holding her hand because one of my friends had told me, oh yeah, she wants you to hold your hand, hold her hand, and my sister told me too. So I remember the whole movie just thinking about holding her hand, and then eventually I just did it, and I asked her before, and she said yes, so we held hands. And, and I was so nervous, and it was so awkward, and our hands were all sweaty, and we didn't hold hands for a long time after that. And then after that, the next thing we did was go to the winter formal. We didn't talk very much. None of my friends would talk to any of the girls that we invited. We didn't talk to each other pretty much the entire time. I bet we didn't say two words to each other. And my understanding was after that, that we were done hanging out, that he just wanted to go to the formal with me. I ended up calling Christine and asking her if she wanted to hang out. I told my mom that I wasn't really interested in having a boyfriend, so she told me we'll just make up excuses and he'll get the hint that you're too busy to hang out with him and he'll quit calling. And I remember her telling me that she was too busy or she was, she needed to wash her car with her mom. I'm washing my car. Or she needed to go on a walk with her mom. I'm going for a walk today or I have cheerleading practice or too much homework. And I'm thinking like, what the heck? And she still had excuses and I was thinking, you know, I don't know what's going on, I don't know if she doesn't want to hang out with me anymore, so I remember one time I did call and her dad answered the phone and then he said, listen Jordan, you need to, you know, back off, stop calling, um, Christina doesn't want a boyfriend right now. So I was like kind of blown away and I'm like, okay, so I hung up the phone and about five minutes later I called him back and normally I don't do these things because back in ninth grade I was very shy and I was completely shocked that he had called back and I said hey Ken I'm just you know wanting to be friends just hanging out and just you know seeing if she wants to hang out and my dad just said he told him you know just be friends and that it was fine it was taken care of I remember my mom telling me that it's a good idea if I call her a week or two weeks ahead of time asking me if you know two weeks from now you can go on a date with me and he was very persistent. He kept calling and 
And it was so hard to come up with an excuse for two weeks from now that I would say yes. And just from that, that point on, I remember, you know, she finally said yes to doing things and we ended up hanging out and getting to know each other better. Eventually we started going out so much that I started to like him. Then later that year in December, um, on the 6th, we went to Disneyland with Jordan's family with uh, Matt and Laura Ashley and Joseph and Kathy and we spent the whole day going on rides and having fun and we went out to dinner and I guess everyone knew that he was going to ask me to be his girlfriend that night but I didn't know. So I asked her to be my girlfriend at Disneyland right at the end of California. And uh, we watched the fireworks and he asked me to be his girlfriend and I said yes. I was so excited and I went home and told my mom all about it. We had so much fun being boyfriend and girlfriend and getting to tell our friends at school. I remember our first kiss happened at our house um, when we were watching a movie, sitting on the couches. It took us a while to kiss. It took a year and a half. Uh, Jordan was very respectful and he asked me if he could kiss me a couple times but we never did. And Christina says that she was asleep, but I don't really think she was. I was laying on his shoulder and I was starting to fall asleep. And I guess she was kind of asleep. And I remember um, pu pushing, my, pushing her chin up closer to me. And I kept feeling him tug up on my chin and I was thinking, what is he doing? Uh, but I would just readjust my head and like close my eyes again. And then uh, I felt him kiss me, and it was just a little peck, but it was sweet. <laughs> and so that was our first kiss. And just after that point, we went through high school, went to a lot of functions together. I was a football player, she was a cheerleader, and we just did everything together. We went to Disneyland a lot during high school. Jordan and I got to spend all of high school and college together. Uh, we were inseparable the whole time. And we just, we just liked to be with each other and liked to hang out. She was just always there to encourage me. She was just always loving towards me, and I just thought she was the most beautiful girl that I've ever seen. I was just felt so lucky to be with her. We were each other's best friends, and um, then we went off to college, and I decided to do nursing, and Jordan at first thought he wanted to do EMTs, but then a year later he joined me at Cal Baptist, and so we got to go to school together again. So that was fun. We drove together on some days, and we end up taking some classes together and we just went through the nursing program and everything we we're able to talk about different things about the nursing program and we just we just like to be with each other and like to hang out and then towards the end of my college career on december 6th we went back to disneyland like we did every anniversary to celebrate in the car ride to disneyland he gave me a card and in it he said um, that as a gift he would like to get us a caricature at disneyland he insisted so we sat down and we started getting our picture drawn and a crowd started forming around us and i thought we were both so clueless as to why everyone was watching us and we were talking like oh my goodness I can't believe everyone's staring at us and we were saying okay just look at the ground and pretend nobody's here and so then um, when the girl was done she stood up and she said okay and then I stood up and I turned to look at the picture and it had Jordan with the ring box open and it had words coming out of his mouth saying will you marry me and um, I looked back at Jordan and he was on his knee with the ring box open and the crowd was cheering and he asked me to marry him and I said yes. It was the best day of my life I would say. Uh, he made all my dreams come true, more than I could have ever imagined. And that was just one of those moments that you'll never forget. And today I get to marry him. <laughs> And I can't believe after all these years, he's actually going to be my husband. Oh, it's going to make me cry. <laughs> this day has finally come after eight years of being together and seven and a half years of dating. we are finally become husband and wife today. And I'm just so excited and we've been looking forward to this day for our whole lives. And I'm just so excited to spend the rest of my life with you. And I just know that you're the one for me. You've always been there to support me, encourage me in everything that I do. And I just know that I can't live without you. And I'm excited to just grow old with you. I love you. I've dreamt about it for so long. 
I can't wait to wake up next to him every morning. <laughs> I can't wait to spend my life with him. And I love him more than anything, so. I love you, Jordan. <laughs> This is my husband, Jordan. This is my wife, Christina. And, and our, our happily, happily ever, ever after, after starts here. here.